evening, everyone. It is March 20th. It is Wednesday night. The playing games are over. They're over, everybody. And we have winners. We have North Dakota State, as predicted. North Dakota State has won. We have everybody else who won. Belmont won. Fairleigh Dickinson won. And Arizona State won. We had them all. So, the master bracket's ready. The entry bracket's ready. Let's run through. Uh, we have a new artificial intelligence entry bracket that is going out as well. And I'm going to show you how to work all the brackets, all the master bracket. We're going to do it all in under five minutes because this is the coolest thing ever. Ready? Here we go. So, this bracket is automated now. That's why it's already filled in. If you want to use a formula-based solution to pick your bracket because the thing starts in like 12 hours from now. Right? And you wake up in the morning and you get to the office and Betty in accounting is, you know, I have payroll to do today. I cannot deal with a bracket right now. Okay. Like, listen, like I don't give, I don't care about Abilene Christian today. Right. Well, if she doesn't know what to do, she's like, you know what? All I care about is wins. No, all I care about is strength of schedule. She says she can choose a hundred percent under strength of schedule and everything will change. And you know what? Kansas wins. And then she just press save and sends it to you. She saves it, right? And then all you do is, is you open up, you go to the picks right here, this thing right here. You go to A picks up at the top. You have this, you copy it, and you go into your master bracket, which you bought from me because you know the value. This is your master bracket. This is a data sheet for your master bracket. It's for normal scoring. The normal scoring is these number of points per round. You can change that at your heart's desire and make it anything you want. But we're going to leave it at what I call the Fibonacci sequence. I call nature calls the Fibonacci sequence of just adding two numbers together and keep going. I like it. It's fun. It means math. So that's scoring, right? Now you have your entry bracket or your master bracket here that you can fill out as the games go by. Well, what do we do with that entry that we just copied? This thing here. We copied this because this is the picks that, that Dolores and Accounting just gave us. We're going to paste values, the one, two, three, one. You have to do paste values. Remember that. Oops, I just realized I didn't do something right. This is this is Dolores. Actually, this is actually strength of schedule, really, is the name of this entry. Because we're using just strength of schedule to determine the uh, the winners. Copy. Go back to your master bracket. Paste values over. And the name is now Strength of Schedule. And now I've been adding entries to this because I'm just going down the line. I, I, I'm going to win the, the tournament between uh, me and anybody else who sends their brackets back to me and puts it in. I'm going to win. You know why I'm going to win? Because I'm going to do, you know how many of these sample brackets I'm going to do through this thing here? I don't know. As many as I can fit in Excel. 15,000 plus. I'm going to write a formula to do it. And I'm going to try to get a perfect bracket. It's not going to happen, but I'm going to get close. It's going to be fun. So I'm going to win because I'm going to outnumber everyone and I'm going to have every crazy combination based on every percentage. So that's my plan. So I'm sneaky. I'm going to keep all that money. Nobody's getting half because I'm winning. Now, um, we're at three and a half minutes. Is there anything I wanted to show about the master? Yes. So after you've put your data in the master here, so you, got, you paid the 50 bucks, you got the master, you sweet talk me and I gave it to you for less or nothing because I'm a nice guy. You do that and then... All right, games start to happen, right? Well, VCU wins, Duke wins, because Duke keeps getting pushed all the way down. Duke wins again. Mississippi State wins. Virginia Tech wins. Stuff starts to happen, right? As that stuff starts to happen, you fill it in. You go to the standing sheet here. We have two different pivot tables in the standing sheet. And we also have this thing up here that asks you if you have any errors in your data. If somewhere along the line you screwed up some team name somewhere, they're going to see errors and it's going to tell you and then you need to contact me if you don't know how to fix that in your sheet. So you get your two pivot tables here. You got 30 seconds. All you do is right click inside either one of them and press refresh. And you get your standings and then you also get each people's standings if you want to collapse this over here in this one and how far and how many points they have remaining and you can go from there and I'll do more videos about how to display your scoring and do visuals and charts and everything else because it's automatic at this point. And you're done. So all you people that were worried about all the brackets that you're getting an email and how you're going to handle it, you just paste them in here. You can paste them in here wherever. People don't care about the scoring until the, next, until the end of the weekend. 
Like if they're, if these people don't understand artificial intelligence and, and automatic programming, they think you're scoring it by hand. You could, you could, I mean, you could tell them you can't come into work on Monday because you have to score so many. They will understand, especially if the boss has a team that, that, you know, that, that the boss hasn't missed any in round one. I mean, he's like, you know what? Stay home. He's like, take the week off. Just make sure you get my points in there. You're good. So um, I'm sending out the AI bracket to everyone. It is the 2019 AI bracket. I'm changing the name. I want to know whose percentages beat my 15,000 that I'm going to run, um, if anyone can do it. And we're out for now because we hit all the playing games. We got all four of those right. So, um, yeah. I have, I have a, Oh, yeah, one more thing. You can send me your distributions. I'm going to be adding them to my own master like this. Up at the top, over here on the right, I'm going to have the, the distribution here so that we can log the distribution and tie it to the entry and know which one is the best. So I need to remember to do that for the one that I just pasted, although I actually named it what it is. So anyway, we're out. Um, may your picks be winning, everybody. I think that we can all go like 63-0. and 0. Is that how many games there are? 63 and then guess the points exactly right? Why not? Oh, yeah, this thing, this thing estimates the points too, by the way. I just, I just did the points they score, both teams add them together. There's no logic in there. It's just simple. All right, we're out.